So where's next then? Uh, now we're off to Golden Cap, the highest point on the south coast. Ooh, exciting! Now Ben had promised the best view of the day at the Golden Cap, claiming that on a clear day you can see across Lime Bay to Dartmoor. And he assured me that the steep hike up the cap was well worth it. What's more, waiting for me at the top was Rob, National Trust Countryside Manager. Well, thank you very much for inviting me up here, Rob. Once again, it's an incredible view. You're so lucky to be working and living here. But tell me, what exactly do you do for the National Trust? Um, I'm the Countryside Manager, so that means I look after, for the National Trust, um, a lot of this countryside and a lot of the coastline here in West Dorset. It's a, it's a fantastic job and uh, gets me out and about into special places like this. Sounds like a jammy job. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> so tell me, do you think that we're losing touch with the outdoors, especially locally here? Um, obviously, this is kind of your constituency. Um, do you feel that local people do engage with the outdoors here? or? Um, yes, I think they do. I think people are in touch with the outdoors here in West Dorset, mainly because it's such a rural community you know you can see from the countryside behind us um it's very agricultural there's lots of rural communities and they because it's sort of in their nature the outdoors is part of them and they're always out here on the estate exploring and enjoying the countryside and the views so i think locally um people are still in touch with the outdoors yeah great i'm glad to hear it it's very good news but some of the common complaints that um i get from people who i interview on the road is that if you live in a city it's quite yeah. inaccessible to get to the outdoors sometimes and of course London, Bournemouth, Southampton, Exeter well they're not that close but they're close do you feel do you feel like um, you have a certain responsibility to the people living in those cities yeah it's it's always been one of the main goals of the National Trust to provide that green lung for people who are living in the cities and um, get the, the city folk out to come and enjoy the countryside come and enjoy these wonderful views and these fantastic places and um, so Bristol, Exeter, Southampton, Bournemouth, they're all fairly close. We get people down from London for weekends and things like that. So people do come out, but it's very much one of the things we want to do is get more and more people to come out, come and enjoy these fantastic sites. Definitely. So what kind of activities and events can people expect if they do make the journey from uh, from these big cities? Wow, there's so many different things going on down here. It's just, you know, I, I don't know where to start with that question. But, you know, we provide easy access for people so car parks footpaths well-maintained footpaths and um, we're starting to do things like websites and blogs um, and videos and things for maybe people who who can't make it all the way down here but would like to experience it anyway and um, there are things for children like uh, a tracker pack here which I've got with me Fab. so um, children's that. children's activity children come along and um, with their family hire this for the day and they go off and do all sorts of things um, on the estate looking through binoculars oh, wow. looking at wildlife and um, collecting uh, footprints collecting mini beasts and bugs and um, there's all sorts of activities in these kind of things to encourage families um, to come out and, en and enjoy the countryside and really um, give them the confidence that the countryside is a safe place it's somewhere to come and have fun come and enjoy and um, somewhere where the children will have a great time where you know they, those sort of memories that you take with you forever and then pass on tell the stories to the next generation about how great it is out here and just for the record, Ben was right. This is the best view I've seen for ages. We did it! <laughs> yes, Rob, you're a hero. Three takes. <laughs>